We can understand those who have a difficult time seeing, having clear vision of the things in front of them, behind them, and each side of them. How about the ones that have perfect vision? What do you see? Now, God gives us the ability to see many things. Beautiful things of his creation. To enjoy life. To sustain ourselves in this world. Is your vision blurry? Blur in a way that you can't see Christ. You don't know Christ. You don't believe in Christ. Yet, many live in ways that they need Christ. The Bible has many verses about the things that we need to be doing. So we know that the Lord exists. In the book of Exodus, chapter 14, verse 14, Moses mentions that the Lord will fight for you. Think about those who have fought for you. We know as a country, the military fights for our freedom daily in wars. So on, on fairly a consistent basis, there are family members, loved ones, friends, co-workers fight physically, mentally, emotionally, and in some cases spiritually when it comes to the church. But Moses mentions that the Lord will fight for you under one condition that you only need to be still. Now we know how difficult it is to be still. We're on we're constantly going on a consistent basis. Our lives are hectic. Busy with work, with school with friends, with loved ones, families, relatives, members of society. Our lives are constantly bombarded with the world's matters. God wants us to be still, and we need to be still to feel his presence. So our vision is no longer blurry. We can see the path of everlasting life. Don't you want to get to heaven? Now, many people talk about getting to heaven. Many people even dream about getting to heaven. Many people believe that they're going to get to heaven. But we need to be in the right spiritual framework and relationship with the Lord for us to have proper hope and assurance that we can be with him. We can have that, that real hope in the Lord. The time is right now to start seeing clearly not what this world has to offer. It passes away. What the Lord has is everlasting. 